Hello pilots and welcome to, to, back to Sporty's store here and we're celebrating 2022 with our top five products from last year. And these products are you gonna find in my flight bag that I fly with all the time. So the first one on our, our list came out the la, uh, last part of last year. It's the PJ2 Plus Com Radio. This is an update from our previous PJ2 Com Radio. Still has all the, the great features that we love about that radio with the PJ plugs on top. You don't have to search for a headset adapter. When the panel goes dark, you can take your headset, unplug it from the panel, go directly into the radio and start communicating with ATC. We've added some new items to the PJ2 Plus. There's a type or a 3.5 millimeter plug on the top. So now I can use my favorite earbuds, put in the top of the radio and walk around Oshkosh listening to ATC and the CTAF. We've also increased the wattage output from five watts to six watts to make this even transmit further in the event of that emergency. There's an improved screen on this with improved contrast and resolution, and it still has the famous Type-C port on the side of it, just like most of the phones and iPad Pros of today. So you can use the same cable to power this unit. Anything that provides 2.1 amps can par power your PJ2 Plus comm radio. This gives you lots of options in the event of that emergency. The second item that I've added to my flight bag this past year is the Century Plus. This is the latest and greatest from ForeFlight and UAvionics. It's the ADS-B receiver with built-in GPS. They've added a flight data recorder to this. There's a G meter on here. And as you can see, there's a nice, beautiful screen here that helps tell you what the unit is doing. They've also doubled the amount of battery life inside of this. So you're gonna get a, almost 18 hours of life out of this one unit. Put this on the window, connect to your iPad, and you're gonna have all the weather, traffic, ADSB uh, stuff that you've come to know and love with the Four Flight Sentry line. We've had a brand new headset come out this past year. It doesn't happen too often, so we love talking about it. And this is from Lightspeed. This is the Delta Zulu. And they've done a couple innovative items here that we haven't seen in headsets before. First and foremost, they've added a CO detector to it. So just like the Sentry line with carbon monoxide detectors in it, you can now have that in your headset, which is great because this is always on your headset. And they've made it so that it'll alert you in the event you have a carbon monoxide alarm go off you'll hear it as well as see it on your uh, iPhone with the, the app that goes along with this headset. The other really cool thing we love about this headset is the rechargeable battery. So this uh, uses a, a lot of battery, but the rechargeable battery allows you to not have to keep on replacing those AA batteries. You're going, going to get almost 30 hours of life on the rechargeable battery. They include an alkaline battery pack in the box with this headset. So as a backup, you have a way to extend the life of this headset. The fourth item on my list is from the Flight Gear line. When we talk about batteries, you have to talk about the Flight Gear battery pack. This is the newest one from Sporties. It's a 20,000 milliamp hour battery. So it will charge a Sentry. It'll run your Lightspeed Delta Zulu. It'll run your PJ2 Plus. It'll run all these items on this one battery pack. We have four different outputs. Three are USB A's and one is a USB C. That USB C can also be used as an input to charge the battery. In addition, we have a lightning plug and a mini USB on the side, or not a mini, a micro USB on the side. So you have three different options for input of charging your flight gear battery pack, as well as outputting to all these devices. You're probably gonna have a cable that will work with this unit. I can run all these at the same time. I can charge my iPad, my iPhone, my watch, everything and this will last all weekend long on a long trip. You don't have to worry about having extra plugs with you. And finally, my last item that I've added to my flight bag this year is the Flight Outfitters iPad Flight Desk. And this is, might look like a massive item, but this organizes all your stuff you need for your iPad in the cockpit. The nice thing about this flight desk is it removes from the case. So you really have two items here. You have a kneeboard and you have a case for your kneeboard. So all your devices, devices can fit in here, your, your battery, all your cables. There's even a spot for charts on the outside if you still like having charts like I do. But this goes on your knee and you can mount your iPad to this. But the nice thing about this knee board is you can mount other items at the same time. So you can see in this orientation, I can put my iPad down here and slap my iPhone up here. So I can have my ForeFlight going as well as another iPhone app up top while I'm listening to my favorite bluegrass music through my Lightspeed Delta Zulu headset. 
But those are the five items I've added to my flight bag this past year. The PJ2 Plus Com Radio, the Four Flight Century, the Lightspeed Delta Zulu, Flight Gear Backup Battery, and of course the Flight Outfitters iPad Flight Desk. I'm a big fan of all these, and you can find all these on our website right now at sporties.com.